Hi everyone. I have a discussion I would like to um, talk about today. It's regarding race. Um, do you feel that a person who is from one descent knows how it feels to be in another descent meaning do you think a white person can tell a black person or an African American that they know how it feels to be in their shoes well I'd like to discuss that I ran across a video um, on the view where um, Anne Coulier uh, the author was um, discussing race with Whoopi Goldberg and Whoopi Goldberg just slapped her right down to the ground she was on point knew what to say knew how to say it and I really appreciate the fact that she had some very good insight and was not judgmental even though Ann Coulier had no clue as to what she was talking about um, other than the fact that when the different parties were created Republicans actually were for the lower to middle class they weren't for the um, elite or the the one percent that's how uh, the Republican Party actually started so that is actually correct um, but with that in mind um, I will go ahead and play for you the video and please tell me your comments and uh, hit the subscribe button. I love all my fans. I love hearing from you. Love uh, talking with you. I love it when I have made an impact on someone and um, makes makes made someone stay. That's the reason I do my videos. Until next time. Bye bye. Mark, we used to refer to as the Brooklyn juries, who simply would not convict even guilty black criminals. Oh, um, not well, you know what? Hold up, Ms. Coulter. Please yes. stop. Please stop. <laughs> if you're going to talk about race, at least, at least know what you're talking about. At least know what you're talking about. Well, tell me how much you know about being black. Well, this isn't and about black, being black. Well, but you just said, this is, you just made all these statements about how black people feel. Tell oh, me I how know. you know. That. Yeah, you did. This is not a book about black people. Uh -huh. It is a book about white liberals. And I do know, and this is a fact, that uh -huh. once for years, Republican policies on crime and welfare, for example, were called racist. When they finally got implemented after the OJ verdict, I might add, by Julian, crime, Giuliani in New York, Reagan and Bush judges overall. Uh -huh. Tens of thousands of black lives were saved. That is a fact. I don't have to know about how to how about being black. Actually, but I know because, because you're you're you're, you're, to be dead. you're 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 what is what are your facts are a little just a little shaky. I mean, you're saying that because black people are alive. because liberals <laughs> are good. are what because liberals have abandoned black people now because. What? I, I don't no, get it. I don't understand. I don't think liberals ever cared about black people. I mean, five minutes after the Civil Rights Act of 64, they start calling everything that has nothing to do with black people a civil rights oh, issue. Wait a second. Abortion on demand, him. homeless rights. So are you uh, saying that liberals don't it. care about black people? Then are you saying Republicans embrace us in a warm, <laughs> fuzzy <laughs> black Try to. We're not embraced back. back but yeah, we tried to. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So the Southern <laughs> strategy was a white liberal thing? No. It was a Republican Less thing, no. and, and also uh, no, Newt Gingrich calls President Obama the food stamp disproved. president. That's not racist. This chapter. Wait a second. Do you really think that was? Do you believe it was racist for Newt to say 
that the president is a food stamp president? Well, well, he he would that. Like, just just skip, I'm not a big fan of Newt, so if we could just skip that for a second sure. and get to the Southern strategy. Yeah. Because I, I've specifically disproved it. It's an absolutely liberal folklore. Um, Republicans were winning the South since 1920. It was the outer states of the South. It was Texas, Tennessee, Black Kentucky, and Virginia. Voting. What are you talking about? We weren't well, allowed to vote. Who was to get them to vote? Republicans were. Yeah, and, the first, and the first Cong black congressmen were all Republicans. And the first black governor was a Republican. Way back, that so after skin is so different from yeah, that. No, no, no. Yeah. That's, no. That is definitely hey. what we're told. Uh, but in fact, the black, the, right. the Democratic segregationists were all liberal Democrats. It is a lie that they were conservative everybody Democrats. Was it was a Jay segregationist, darling. And then, you know, the basically, they everybody was. was. White people were. It didn't matter whether they were Republicans. Absolutely were not. Ask your question. The first segregationist. Oh, Just Sorry. read chapter 14 in this book. The I first Republican to be elected in the South. I listen to my grandmother, who was Baker. there, who remembers what Howard happened. Howard Baker, an aggressive integrationist, first Republican voted, elected in Tennessee to the Senate. You have Winthrop Rockefeller, first Republican governor in Arkansas. But you know, I have a Arkansas. question about today. Integration. Let me ask you something about what's yeah. going yeah. on now. It seems to me, the Southern strategy is a lie. It seems to me that voter there. suppression. Yeah is happening in the areas where black people and Hispanics are, and they really is being promoted by the Republicans, not no. the Democrats. So in my view, and I have a different one from you, it looks as though the Republicans are really going against blacks, not the liberals. No, and this is a perfect example. Oh, yes, it is, and it's a perfect right. example. No, I'll explain why, of, of liberals using the label of civil rights to promote a liberal cause they support, i.e. voter fraud. In fact, one of the first states in the union to pass voter ID bills was Rhode Rhode Island, 85% Democratic legislature, and who pushed it? A black Democrat in the can, House, a black talk, Democrat you, in the you, Senate. You're, you're you're that's, not, that's a fact. No, you, yeah. you may pick out Rhode that's Island, but there are other about. states where it's completely Why Republican black driven. Democrats be pushing this? Because they had seen because voter they fraud. Because they want the Hispanic that's vote that's to go to Rhode Can I ask a general question? <laughs> Every book that that's you write is very controversial and shocking, and it's usually an opinion that's disparate with everybody else. Right, right. Do you just write these books and try to find whatever it is that's going to make everybody say, oh. well, you know, I don't believe this crap crap. You really the reason, no. it's an excellent question. The reason I write these books is because I try to correct things that people believe that are just false. This is a question, because I was reading a book. And, and, and you're and, the only and, one and, that says it. But, but, the, well, there are a few things. I mean, the, discovering that we never won the Goldwater states and Republicans didn't won, win the Dixiecrat states until the Dixiecrats died out. You keep staying back in the past. you got to come into the okay. present. But this is what I want to say. That's new to me. You, the we, rest of it, other people know. In reading your book, you know, you, you, you keep saying, if you read, if you would read chapter 14, if you read, well, you, you make such divisive comments and incendiary comments and hateful comments at times. It makes people not want to pick up your book and read it. So, so. People I don't, agree with her reading. It. Yeah, well, people oh, agree yeah. with no, that. I don't think so. You know, name a hateful comment in no, here. I, you know, when you talk about you stay in the past, I, that, that Republican. No, only because there. it was brought up. There's only one chapter on the past, and I mean, it's just but a fact. But when you talk about something like voter suppression, yeah. which right. obviously is trying to keep black people and Latinos, they have never done people. that. That was a oh, Democrat in, but, thing. But and it's in states where they had, they don't even have okay, any. Let me just because oh, okay. Right. Can I just say one thing, Dan? No matter what, you sit down here and you've got five women going. Yes. Whatever it is, Please thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me.